Rangers or Diamondbacks, who do you believe in more uh, moving forward this season? It's a great question. You know, I Rangers think, without DeGrom. You know? Of course, sadly. Um, I think the Diamondbacks have better depth. I think the Rangers have more interesting stars. Yeah. The division of the NL West is such a harder division now. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to lean Texas. That's a great question. I'm going to lean Texas, but it's really close. It is really close. I think I'd lean Rangers, too. The Mariners have been disappointing, uh, losing Robbie Ray. They can't hit. I, I, I don't really believe in them as much. The Angels, I think, have the most like upside of any team in that division, but we'll see. Uh, the Astros are there, but they've had a lot of injuries in their rotation. Uh, Jose Abreu has been better in recent days, but still overall very disappointing. You know that Jose Abreu has a lower slugging percentage than Miles Straw. I tweeted that today. Oh my God, uh, is it that bad? Uh, yeah. You know we, we haven't done we haven't done a, a, dra- a drop or keep or whatever we call it segment in a while. I mean, is Jose Abreu somebody you could drop? Mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. Uh, in recent days, you at least can like talk yourself into hanging on to him. Same with like Josh Bell, who's I mean, been really. Slash I, I knew his slash line was bad. I didn't know it was two twenty five, two eighty two, two ninety seven. Bad. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. So you know the Astros are not they're not the team they've been in recent years. I, I think the chance is there for the taking for the Rangers. Uh, so yeah, I would agree. I think the Dodgers will hit their stride. I think the Padres are too good to be this bad. Um, yeah. I yeah, I'd have to go Rangers, but it is it is close. You know, I want to say this. You have my permission out there, gentle listener. If there's somebody you want, and Jose Abreu is the keep the the cut that you've landed on, I'll sign off. He's 36 years old. At some point, the circus leaves town for everybody. And Houston, right. it used to be just any piece of the Houston lineup. You know, some of these other lineups we we're talking about. So well, yeah, I want in on that lineup. I don't have that feel with Houston. It's easy to say that now with Alvarez hurt, which is a gaping hole in their lineup. True. But till July, break. apparently. Yeah, Bregman, you know, hasn't been the guy we wanted him to be. Obviously, they've missed Altuve for periods of the year. He's back now. But uh, Kyle Tucker has been a mild, one of those mild disappointments. He's not killing you. And I, th- I always think Kyle Tucker at any point could just start ripping up the game. And maybe he will. He's yeah. had slow starts before. But Houston, this is not the Houston team I thought we were getting two months ago. And if you want to cut Jose Abreu, because look, even last year, right? I mean, he hit 304. He only hit 15 home runs. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not going to run at all. We know that. Um I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous that Jose Abreu. This could be a cliff season for him. Yeah. Didn't he sign a three-year contract? Sounds right. It. Yeah. Ooh, that could look bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. I think that AL West. It's there's new blood in that division for sure, and it, it might be the Rangers after all the money they've spent. No Jacob Degrom, but apparently no problem for that team as long as they score runs. 